Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is DJ Alize. If you're new here, if you're not, again, welcome back. So today I'm starting another nursing school vlog. So before we get into this vlog, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and stay tuned. So today is my first week of, well, my first day and first week of my fourth quarter. So if you guys don't know, I have six quarters to take in total and this is my fourth. So I have two more quarters after this and then I'll be done with nursing school. So that's exciting. Um, I don't know why it's just like this quarter really feels different to me. I just feel like there's so many good things that are going to happen this quarter. It's going to be successful. Like I'm super, super excited about it. So definitely hope that it's everything you know that i'm manifesting and everything so yeah but um what i wanted to basically give you guys an overview that i know for sure um this quarter is i have my maternal child clinical and class i have mdc3 which has a lot of like cardio um hematologic things reproductive that types of things um and i also have my skills too Skills two is the last skills lab that we take. We only take two at my school and they put everything in it. So I know for sure this week we're going to learn how to draw blood. Next week is like IVs, like NG tubes, all the chest tubes and all of that. That's really, you know, really the most interesting part <laughs> or the part that everybody waits for is what we're going to be doing this quarter. So I'm literally ecstatic for that. But, um... Oh, and then I also have an online class. It's called Research and Theory, but we're not going to talk about that because I'm not that excited about that class. I've already heard it's a bunch of papers. and I don't like research papers. And I've already looked at the schedule for this week. I already have a lot of work specifically for that class this week. And I don't understand why because it's our first week, but that's just how it is right now. So what I'm going to do right now, um, I did have to work this morning. So um, I'm a nurse extern, you guys, or student nurse or whatever you want to call it. Um, I basically work as a patient care tech or a CNA. So um, yeah, I mean, basically I do that work and then like, um, you know, Foley's, that type of stuff that a nurse will allow me to do. Um, but the main part of my job is basically doing um, like patient care tech type work. I'm doing it for the experience. I'm in a cardiac unit. And today was really interesting. Um, I'm just like, you know, seeing my schedule now. I don't know how many days I'm going to be able to work a week. Because I really wasn't thinking when I scheduled my work day on the first day of school. So I'm sure everyone else has already like gotten started. But not me. So, um, yeah, I'm about to plan for this week at least. Um, so... I'm going to be writing all that stuff down and I'll probably show you guys that. I'll do my best to show you guys that it's nothing special. I literally just write everything in my planner. So, yeah. So, what I'm going to show you guys, this is my little planner. It's really just a regular planner because next year I'll get a better one. But as for right now, this is my little Amazon planner. So, um, because I have a simulation for my maternal child clinical tomorrow. What I'm gonna do is do like maternal child work today. That way I understand everything tomorrow and I don't have to worry about it. So what I'm gonna plan to do today is, I've already, I like to put things I've already done as well. So I went to work from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. And it's almost like journal keeping for me too, since I'm, I know I've already done this, but it just, I like to do it, you know? So now I'm gonna read for MCH, which is Maternal Child Health. Um, and let me just see what I need to read. And I'm also opening like my SIM, um, 
like information for tomorrow so that I'm prepared. So yeah. And sorry if you guys hear things in the background, you know, it's always gonna be noise. But anyway, and I don't have my door closed. So right now, it looks like this week she wanted us to read for chapters one and six. So I'm gonna do that first because I always like to read first. And then I'm going to, we're gonna have a live class on Thursday, even though I have simulation Friday. So I'm still gonna read. And then once simulate, well not simulation, but our live lecture Thursday, then I'll take more notes like in addition to that. So uh, looks like we're going over like women's health this week, like contraception, um, what it means to be a maternal child nurse and I also have a discussion that's due. Um, so if I can get done with reading chapters one and six today, because it's already kind of late, then I'll also do my MCH mod plan discussion. At least like my initial post, because I feel like no one is gonna, you know, be prepared for all that extra stuff. And then I'm going to also um, practice my dosage calc, just so I have two dosage calc exams tomorrow and I wanna be prepared. So I've already practiced like over the break, but I'm gonna practice more and um, you know, just so I can be prepared because they're usually not bad, but like I need to get a hundred and I want to get a hundred on the first try and not have to retake it or have that stress this week of having to retake it. So when I take it tomorrow, I was just going to be completely prepared. I'm, I'm going to leave it at that for my schedule um, for today. And then just write that I planned this week. Cause like I said, even though I'm doing it right now, I still like to do it. Then tomorrow, I have a simulation, as I said, for maternal child. And um, sorry, you guys can't see me, but basically what I'm gonna do is, all right, so um, it looks like we also have ATI. Like the first week for us is always just like a all over the place week. Um, they don't say what we're supposed to read. So I guess I'm just gonna, um, read as much as I can starting from the beginning um, for the maternal child book and just leave it at that because I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. But anyway, and I haven't had any instruction from my teachers. Like my school is a little bit crazy. So um, tomorrow I have simulation. So I have MCH sim from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. And then after that, I'm going to work out. And then after that, I'm going to do my module one discussions for this week because I know they're gonna be due. And I'm gonna be doing that for all classes because at least my initial post is gonna be due. And then I'm gonna take um, both of my dosage calc exams. And then I'm also going to, I know this sounds like a lot, but besides the simulation tomorrow, this is all I have to do. Um, and it's always a lot because I'm just now starting on Monday, which is the first day of class. And things always do the, the day, you know, the day after immediately. So um, for MDC, I have, which is med surge for my school, but for this class, I have, it's the only one chapter for the actual textbook. So I'm gonna read 65 for MDC. And I'm gonna read chapters 62, 
in 92 in the ATI med surge. And I have a written assignment for this class that's not due till Sunday, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Um, actually, I need to read 62, 63, 64, and 92. So this is what my planner looks like in the end. It's really nothing special, and sometimes it gets really messy, but um, it gives me through. And it keeps me on track. And that's all that really matters. So, this is all my assignments, all my readings are color coded. So, you guys may not understand, but I do. Each color is a different class, or it's a clinical component of a class, or it stands for like something I have to do for both classes, or all classes, or something like that. So, yeah, just wanted to show you guys. So as you guys seen, I was doing notes. Now I'm about to make dinner. So as I told you guys, um, I was doing notes and you seen me do that. So now I'm about to make dinner. So it's gonna be something simple and I'll probably show you guys later once I'm done. So today is Tuesday morning. I have my maternal child sim lab this morning. So, um, it's really early, so I have to get had to get ready for that. I didn't record that, but I'll see what I can get today. Probably won't be much because in SimLab you can't bring your phone, so you can't record, you can't do any of that. But I'll update you guys on what we do. Um, hopefully, you know it's not the whole morning or the whole time that it's gonna be because that's kind of long. But we'll see. Um, it's the first day, and I've never had SimLab on the first day, so I really don't know what to expect. Um, but I'll let you guys know what you can expect for your maternal child sim labs when you do have them. So we're on our way home from STEM. STEM was good. I feel like I did way better than I usually do because I usually freeze up. But this time I could actually think even though the scenario was not what I practiced. I still was able to like think on my feet and get to it. So I was really happy about that, really excited about that. And it felt like I know what I'm doing because I usually feel like I don't, even though like, I know it's not just me that feels like this. Like you'll be at home or in class and you feel like you know all the answers and stuff. And then as soon as you get in clinical or sim lab and then you forget it. Like your mind just goes blank. Mine does that all the time. But today I was taking fluids. I was priming IV bags. I was um, calculating meds because our patient was um, a kid. So obviously we have to calculate the medication. I was passing meds. Um, what else? Giving oxygen, all of that good stuff that really I haven't had any experience with, but I've seen it done, especially like in clinical and then now working, I've seen it working too. So yeah, I'm happy about that. Finally feeling like I can do this, I know what I'm doing. But I always feel like that in the first week, so we'll see. 
hi guys so as you guys can see i am back home um i'm just checking in right now i'm really just doing some dosage count practice because like i've been telling you yesterday and all day today um i just have my dosage calc exams to do so i'm gonna be doing a little bit of practice on that and it's just like i don't know why this one specifically is stressing me out like i'm usually not stressed about my dosage calc exams because i feel like i'm pretty good at it and like today in sim there was like something i had to basically calculate on the spot you know and everything like that and i got it right immediately first try so it's like why am i so stressed out about it i have no idea but um yeah you know it's just like just overthinking you know i've been i feel like i've been dealing with imposter syndrome low-key because it's like i don't know why i keep doubting myself like you know this you know this you know this so i don't know i guess i just have to say my affirmations and you know just live by those but yeah right now this is all i have to do and then i have to do some discussions tonight um i've completely forgot to tell you guys we're back on campus so three days out of the week i'm on campus or at a clinical or you know basically i'm not home and then the other day of the week i have one online lecture for like three hours but that's just because all our lectures are online but everything else is in person so it's like you know trying to get used to that like today was a struggle i got up late yeah i got ready and everything but i didn't eat breakfast you know so that's why i didn't really like record much like you guys seen i was in the car and then going to like class or whatever but like you know i just needed to do better and then we just got home not too long ago because we just had errands to run and i didn't feel like it was interesting enough to put in the vlog so i didn't film that um and right now my fiance he's at the gym I can't work out right now because we got home so late and I need to get prepared for these. But I'm definitely going to be working out tomorrow because I'll be home like I won't have nothing else to do. And, um, you know, just trying to do better. And it's like also trying to adjust from being in Vegas this weekend. Like it was really fun, but I definitely was ready to get back into school. So, you know, I'm not mad. And then also um, found out today I have three Proctor ACIs this quarter. So I have care of the children, maternal newborn, and pharmacology. All of those ACIs will be this quarter. And like, I'll have them literally in like a month will be my first one. I've never had that before. They're always like at the end, you know? So we usually have a lot of time. I'm just like, I don't know. I'm really worried about that, but... I'm not trying to be stressed because it's literally only the first week. And who wants to be stressed in their first week of school, you know? So, I'm trying to do better. But it's just like, I don't know. I don't know. And then things have changed this quarter. So, like, um, I don't know how to say this. But, like, in Florida, there's a lot of pushback against, you know, the shot. So, um, it's like to go to i'm already like fully you know i'm saying it like that because i don't want youtube to flag my video and put that under there but you guys get what i'm saying but a lot of people at my school aren't and so if you're not then you have to get a test every single week before you go to clinical and if you don't have um those results then you don't get into clinical so it's like there's so much going on and then we only have three hospital ob clinicals i'm like hoping i see you know what i need to see what i want to see within those three days that we go literally everything else is simulation and then we go to a daycare one time like last quarter every single clinical they had was in there and it's, i feel like we got cheated this quarter like you know this is when i was really looking forward to but it you know it is what it is it's not like i won't get to work in that field you know i I know i'll be working in that specialty maybe not immediately but definitely eventually i'll be working in that specialty so it's like i don't know but i feel like 
I really want to work in peds now. I want to be a peds nurse. And um, I've been like going in between NICU and peds, but I feel like I want to work in peds. So yeah, but that's the end of my rant. I need to get in on this practice. So I'll check in with you guys later, hopefully. I know I always say that and then I'm like gone, but I'll update you guys on my scores of my Dosage Calc exam once I'm done. Hi guys, so as you've seen, today is Wednesday. Um, I decided to come update you guys because I know I didn't last night. I was really kind of like upset because I passed one of my dosage calc exams and then the other one I didn't pass by one point. So I have to retake that and I was kind of upset about it last night because I was like, literally the answer, I it was like not the best question to say the least, and I was really unsure about my answer. So I was like, I may have gotten this wrong, maybe right. But if I change it, you know, I don't know if it's gonna be right. So I just left it as is because I was like, I'm not gonna second guess myself. And then I got it wrong. So um, yeah, so now I have to do this ATI remediation on top of all of the work that I have to do. And then I'll get to retake the exam. I know that I'll pass it this time. Um, you know, you just kind of learn from your mistakes, but yeah, so I wanted to check in with you guys and be very open and honest with you guys about that because it happens, it happens to everybody. So yeah, um, yeah, so I'll show you guys what I have to do because <laughs> I'm really annoyed about doing it. Like if you know me, I'm a perfectionist and I hate when anything is not perfection even though I know not everything is gonna be perfect, but to have more work put on instead of just having to retake it, like how past quarters have been, not for me, but what I've heard from other people, is just annoying. So I wanna get it done um, and then do what I have to do. And then I can move on with the rest of my work. I also need to edit because like I told you guys, got back from Vegas on Sunday. I haven't had a chance to edit that vlog. Also need to catch up on notes need to get prepared for my um, skills lab tomorrow that I'm going to take you guys with. And um, then I have another sim lab Friday. And then we have something planned this weekend. So I really want to be done by the weekend. It's just like, am I going to be, you know? It's like you always have plans to be done. And then it's like once you get started, you're still trying to get like, I know me, it's the first week. So I'm still trying to get the ball rolling. But it's just like, hard to just jump back into it full force you know but yeah i just wanted to update you guys on that and yeah i'll show you guys my work Season is a bonus. 